For this procedure, you will need an updated microcolor chip, ESN B solution, personal protective equipment, a drawdown platform or clipboard, a number three drawdown rod, and a sheet of plain white paper, a hair dryer, an eyedropper, and paper towels. You will also need your primed sample that has been aging for at least 24 hours. To get started, clip the primed film sample and paper to the drawdown platform and place the drawdown rod at the top. Drop some of this ESN solution onto the top of the sample using an eyedropper. Use the drawdown rod to draw down the ESN. Rinse the sample with tap water until the water runs clear. You can discard the paper at this time. Once the water runs clear, shake excess water off of the sample, then blot with a paper towel. Use a hair dryer to accelerate the drying process. The color of the eosin stain can change slightly with time, so for best results, measure the color as soon as the sample is dry. Do this by placing your sample on a white piece of paper and comparing the most evenly dyed area of your sample with the number stained rectangles on the microcolor chip. If the sample has too much primer, it will be very dark in color. If the sample doesn't have enough primer, it will be a very light pink or colorless. Once you have identified the number of the rectangle that most closely matches the color of your sample, check the correlating box number on the mica color chip key. This will give you the approximate coat weight of the primer. Please refer to the appropriate technical data sheet to find the optimal coat weight for the mica product you are using. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like written instructions on how to perform this test method, please contact us through our website, www.mica-corp.com or by calling 203-922-8888.